YouTube family, this is Aryan, the new Regino. Welcome to my villa, Poika World. In today's video, you will see an ultimate clash between the two well-muscled guard dogs. That is the boxer, my favorite, and the double man. So let's begin the fight. Over to you, man. In this following video, if you are struggling to choose between a boxer also known as the clowns of the dog world and a Doberman, we've compiled all the detailed information you need to know to help you make the best choice. So let's compare these two high energetic guard dogs which are often misunderstood by the media and the general population. An imitation Factor an adult male boxer stands at a height of 23 to 25 inches, and weighs between 30 to 32 kilograms. They are a medium to large sized dog and are extremely muscular, powerful dogs. Their heads and undershot jaws alone are large and show just how powerful these dogs are when they need to be. An adult male Doberman stands at a height of 26 to 28 inches, and weighs between 40 to 45 kilograms. Their bodies are well muscled, lean, and athletic that shows they have a lot of power and strength. There's no denying that a Doberman are quite intimidating to look at as compared to boxers. So one point to Doberman. Boxer 0 Doberman 1. Powerful and loudest bark. Let's hear it first and we'll decide accordingly. In our opinion the boxer has a powerful bark, so one point to boxer. Boxer 1 Doberman 1, Bite Force. A determinant of a dog's strength, is the force of its bite. This measurement is done in pounds per square inch, also known as PSI. Among the two, the boxer is actually the most powerful and its pressure bite top 230 PSI while that of Doberman measured 229 PSI. With the slight edge over other, the winner here is the boxer. Boxer 2 Doberman 1. Temperament. Boxers are known to be real clowns. They are often referred to as the jokers of the dog world. They are extremely energetic, playful and fun characters to have around and they take a long time to mature. A Doberman is often described as being alert, bold and proud while at the same time being extremely loyal devoted and affectionate. They are highly intelligent and boast having a strong protective instinct. However because of their fun-loving approach, Boxer is the winner here. One point to Boxer. Boxer 3 Doberman 1. Intelligence and Trainability. Boxers are highly intelligent even though they play the fool and as such, they are extremely fast learners and they need to be well handled and given the right sort of guidance from a young age for them to be truly obedient dogs. Dobermen are highly intelligent and need a tremendous amount of mental stimulation. If well handled, they excel at all the canine sporting activities which includes agility and obedience, but they can also be seen working as rescue dogs, tracking dogs and helping the police and other authorities in their work, all of which are jobs which Dobermen take in their strides. So one point to Dobermen. Boxer 3 Dobermen 2. Lifespan. The average life expectancy of a boxer is between 9, 10 years, and that of Doberman is in between 9 to 12 years, sometimes longer when properly cared for, and fed an appropriate good quality diet to suit their ages. So the winner here is the Doberman. Boxer 3 Doberman 3. Grooming. Both the breeds boasts having a short, dense and glossy coat which makes them low maintenance. On the grooming front, a weekly brush is all it takes to keep on top of things. In our opinion, both are the winner in grooming department. So one point to both. Boxer for Doberman 4. Exercise. 
The Boxer and Doberman both are high maintenance dogs in the exercise department, and ideally need to be taken out for a walk, a minimum of twice a day for a good hour each time. However, they also need to be given a tremendous amount of mental stimulation, and preferably one that involves playing interactive games with a dog. In our opinion, both are the winners in the exercise department. So one point to both, Boxer 5 Doberman 5, good choice for first time owners. Both the dogs are highly intelligent breeds. They are better suited to people who are familiar with their needs and who has enough time to dedicate to training their dogs. As such they are not a good choice for first time dog owners. So one point to both. Boxer 6 Doberman 6, kid friendly. Boxers are known to be good around children of all ages, because they are so calm and patient, more especially if they are well bred. Even tempered dogs, Dobermans are known to be overprotective of any children they grow up with and will instinctively feel the need to guard them as such extra care should be taken when children have any friends over to play. Billa Boyka advises that Dobermans are not the best choice for families with babies or very young children for this reason, so the winner here is the Boxer. Boxer 7, Doberman 6, friendly towards other dogs and pets. Both the breeds are known to be good around other pets and dogs, rarely showing any aggressive behavior towards them. However, it's always a good idea to keep an eye on introductions to new dogs and pets to make sure everything stays calm and friendly. So one point to both. Boxer Raid Doberman 7, Apartment Adaptability. Boxer and Doberman are large, active dog and they need a lot of room to move around in. They are better suited to households with largest back gardens. In our opinion both the breeds don't adapt well to the apartment living. So one point to both. Boxer 9 Doberman 8. Average cost to keep the average cost to keep and care for a boxer and doberman would be in the range of anything between $150 to $200 a month, that is in Indian rupees 11,000 to 15,000, not including the cost of buying a well-bred pedigree puppy in the first place, so with similar costing, one point to both. Boxer 10 Doberman 9 So the winner between the two is the Boxer. 